What's up everybody? Uh, today we're going to be vacuuming. Got a vacuum. I'll probably show you here in a little while. I uh, bought a shop vac last night because this thing needs to be cleaned bad. Uh, it's too cold outside to pull it outside and pressure wash it and degrease it and anything. And uh, so I'm just kind of doing what I can in the garage while I can. We're under, uh, I guess, a, I think they call it, they're calling a winter storm. Uh, been icy the past few days in the 20s and 30s and uh, I think we're supposed to get somewhere around six inches of snow tonight. They're projecting, which is, you know, not a lot in some areas, but for here, past few years, it's a pretty good little bit. So I'm kind of limited on what I can do, but uh, figured I'd vacuum everything out. You know, inside the interior, uh, in the engine bay, all the leaves have been collecting over the years. So. Quick vacuum uh, of the back right there. Uh, it looks a whole lot better. Let's go to the front right. Today we are uh, cleaning out the car and we just got done vacuuming and now we are cleaning out the front. Okay, guys, we are we are taking off the seat now. My dad just got done vacuuming the the first seat, and and he don't after he done with that, he maybe gonna uh, go get, do the other one, the other seat, and take it out. Oh, the other one got broken. All right, guys, I got the seat out now. Uh, going to vacuum the floor. And, uh, we can see a little bit more underneath the seat. Okay, we are done with this. We are done with this side. Now we're going to move over to the outside. And we'll see you. Okay, now we are going to vacuum the seat out.
my dad just got done backing me. Now I'm going to move up to the engine bay. Vacuum the leaves and stuff like that that's settled in there. See if I can find any more rust than what I've seen before. Any more toys? Maybe that's toys in there. No toys in there. Alright guys, uh, can't tell by looking. We're going to do the engine bay now. Uh, just kind of going to get where I can. I'm not going to try to get perfect because the engine is going to come out of this before long. Uh, so I'm just going to get all the major, like the corners where the batting tray is. Uh, I think there's some stuff up here in the front, over there next to the clutch cylinder, master cylinder. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get to it. seeing missing uh, that I didn't see before just kind of happened to glance it is missing a uh, starter so I'm assuming that got pulled off on the original one or maybe uh, from what I understand he had more than one Datsun car so maybe he needed some stuff off this but uh, yeah so I'm gonna move on to this side over here and uh, finish vacuuming everything I can so far I'm not seeing anything but a little surface rust here and there so vacuuming is definitely not really turned up anything more than what I already knew so far. So uh, we'll move to the other side. As far as I can tell, I've about got everything I can see that needs to be vacuumed. And I haven't found any more rust. So it's looking like replacing the floor pans in the interior. And that may be it. Well, this fender, but uh, that's just more of a bolt and replace. I ain't got to cut the weld up there. I can't find a vendor. I may have to, but I don't. I don't foresee that being an issue. But yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. As soon as this weather breaks, we get a little warmer weather where my water hose and stuff ain't frozen. I will be pulling this out of the garage, spraying the whole engine, interior, everything with degreaser. Maybe give it a little scrub. Pressure wash it and uh, let it dry and roll it back in here. I'm gonna do everything I can. All right, guys. So I got it all vacuumed and uh, I haven't really found any more rust. Nothing that I already you know didn't know about. It's looking like to me the floor pans are gonna be the only work that needs to be done, which is awesome. Uh, you know, like I said, a couple hundred dollars worth of floor pans, little cutting, little welding. I'd be good as new because you won't ever see it anyway. Uh, I'll do as good as I can with it, but I'm not worried about getting it perfectly matched, perfectly molded because you're never going to see it. So. But uh, yeah, underneath the underneath the hood, I didn't find any anything other than a little surface rust here or there. Uh, I do have some plans. An uh, old friend of mine got with me last night. He has a dustless sandblasting company where they come to you 
And uh, so once this is ready, come probably a couple more months, you know, get a little warmer. Uh, we'll be rolling it out in the driveway. I'll pay him to come do it. And uh, get the whole thing inside and out sandblasted. And then I'll be cutting what I need to, welding what I need to, and it'll probably be going getting a coat of primer and some paint. So that'll be pretty exciting. I'll probably throw a little video here in this video of, uh, you know, kind of what I vacuumed out with the seats out so you get any, you know, a perfect look at condition of what we're looking at here. But other than that, that's probably going to conclude this video for the day.